you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Wells and Road subscribers and followers. Okay, we've been doing this about six and a half months. Living in a pop-up camper, we've been living in it for about six and a half months. Um, and we do not, we have not, since, since we downgraded, downsized in Missouri, we have not hooked up to utilities once. And if you don't believe me, you can go through every video, and you can probably ascertain from our videos that we have only stayed at primitive uh, campsites, dispersed camping, boondocking, whatever you want to call it. There's no water hookups. No sewer hookups, no, no electric hookups. We are completely self-reliant. We have to go find our own water. We have to produce our own electricity. And uh, we have to dump our own tanks. So, um, you would think that we would feel, um, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? displaced uncomfortable that might be the word uncomfortable um you know where's the modern conveniences um you know we don't have i don't know what heat you know what, what we don't have heat because you know we live in a pop-up camper we don't have air conditioner um because you know we don't have enough electricity to run it um you would think that we would be pretty uncomfortable having to take showers in our shower tent. I think you can see it. I think I got it in the shot. I, I think you would think that we're pretty uncomfortable always on these free campsites. You would think that we were just uncomfortable. And you know, that couldn't be further from the truth. We're not uncomfortable at all. We're, we're very comfortable. And I'm not sure we were ever uncomfortable, other than the fear of it all. The fear, I think, forced us to feel like we should be uncomfortable in the beginning. But now we're actually into it. I, there, I can't think of a moment that I have been uncomfortable. The tight space in the beginning was kind of a problem, but I think Carolyn and I have figured that out. Um, especially now that I have my man cave. Uh, which is the front bunk in um, So I kind of sit there Carolyn sits on our couch um, So there's not even discomfort between us bumping into each other um, The shower You know the, the closest we got to being uncomfortable is when we had to take a shower I think it was like 50 degrees it was I mean we waited as long as we could wait and we finally just had to take a shower and that was probably the most uncomfortable that we felt. But we actually made some accommodations so it wasn't quite as uncomfortable. And quite honestly, I don't even remember the event being that uncomfortable anymore. Um, I mean, we just heated up our water a little hotter. So when it came out of the hose, we felt more hot. You know, it was, it was warm. And then we ran into the camper where we had our heater on. So... I, we weren't uncomfortable. The shower is actually kind of neat. When we first got into the shower, you know, we would we was always worried that somebody was going to see us get in the shower and they knew what we were going to do in the shower. And no, it doesn't bother us anymore. Uh, and most of these campsites, you know, they're, they're pretty secluded. I mean, we got, what, one, two campers beside us. We had three this morning. And... They're not even here right now. One guy went on a boating trip. The other couple, I don't know where they went. They just drove off this morning. And the van guy, he, he already left. So, uh, you know, when we took a shower, there wasn't anybody around anyways. But when people are around, it really doesn't bother us anymore. And the bathroom, going to the bathroom. You would think that would be a problem. But it's not. Um, once you got into the routine of going to the bathroom in the shower tent, um... It, it, I actually don't like using public restrooms anymore. Uh, you know, regular toilets. 
because I have my routine. I, you know, they got a privy right over here, and I don't use it. I don't use the privy to go to the bathroom. I, I still use the shower tent. And we're talking about number two. Um, it's cleaner. Uh, you know, I can take my time. I don't have anybody beating on the door saying, hey, it's my turn. Um, so I'm actually more uncomfortable in the privy than I am in the shower tent now. So what about heat? Well, we do have heat. Now, as everybody knows, we follow the weather. And uh, we were in West Virginia, and there towards the end, it was starting to get down pretty chilly at night. You know, I, I would even bet that there was a couple nights that it got down to, you know, upper 30s. And we were having to run the heat. Well, the heater was keeping up just fine. I mean, that wasn't the problem. The problem was it was starting to run up our cost. So... Um, that's why, you know, we have to follow because we don't want to run up our costs and run all that propane. But we haven't been uncomfortable when it came to heat. Uh, you turn on the Mr. Heater portable, if anything, you feel a discomfort because it's too hot. So, no, the heat, that hasn't been a discomfort. Well, then you're going to say, what about not having an air conditioner? Well, we do have an air conditioner, but we've only ran it one time. And that's just to check to see if it would actually cool the place down um, in general we're outside most of the time anyways but when we are inside you know you, you pull down the curtains you know the window the curtain the you know so the screen doors are open the screen windows are open and it is quite nice in there it's not uncomfortable at all but remember we follow the weather you know we just came out of West Virginia and now we're here in in South Carolina and it'll probably get up to 80 degrees 80 degrees to me is not uncomfortable uh, most of the morning it has been in the 70s quite pleasant quite pleasant so we spent all of our time in the mountains of Virginia in the 70s and as it started getting colder you know there, there was two weeks there that it wouldn't get out of the 50s I mean it was starting to get pretty uncomfortable but we knew what we were trying to accomplish following the weather so here we are in South Carolina, back in the 70s in the morning, 80s in the evening, and then right back down into the 70s and 60s at night. Perfect weather. So no, we're not uncomfortable with the heat. So I think that we have finally made this transition where the, the, the camper is, is, and I've said this, is finally our home. I made a video about that. I'll put that right here. It's finally our home, and uh, we absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So, um, no, it hasn't been uncomfortable at all. Uh, maybe in the beginning, you got to get used to the idea that this is your new home. But once you're, it's your home, it is quite comfortable. So, anyway, hope that kind of clears things up on the comfort level of living in a pop-up camper. Remember, this is an extreme experiment if you want to call it i don't feel like it's an experiment i feel like this is my life but for those of you that says that i'm the guinea pig for the rest of you this is the extreme experiment you know if you if you live in a van or a travel trailer i'm sure this is going to be much easier for you but look i already i just last yesterday somebody else told me that they're they bought a pop-up they've learned how to, to drive it uh tow it back it up and they're going to start living this in, in, in it in january so more and more people are seeing the the reality of this is this is good life so anyway thanks for watching be sure to subscribe click like if you like the video and happy travels